From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Friday, October 9th, 2015, and in the news, Fairbanks police responded to a motor vehicle accident yesterday afternoon on the Richardson Highway near the newly constructed way stations just east of Fairbanks. The call came in around 315 that a red car had collided with the rear of a raised flatbed truck. The car launched off the bed of the truck upon collision and rolled several times into the median of the two roadways. Responders on scene say a man was trapped inside the vehicle. He was extricated and sent to the hospital with unknown injuries. The victim in another auto wreck has been identified. It was last Sunday evening when authorities learned a single vehicle rollover had taken place on Farmers Loop Road and EMS was responding. Troopers found that the sole occupant had been ejected and the vehicle landed on top of him. Yesterday, the deceased driver and sole occupant of the vehicle was identified as 36-year-old Christopher J. Bringhurst of Fairbanks. Next of kin have been notified. And Governor Bill Walker returned to Alaska yesterday following a day of meetings with Obama administration officials in Washington, D.C. Walker requested the meeting shortly after Shell announced late last month that it would halt its efforts on Arctic development. Walker explained that in light of Shell's decision and Alaska's fiscal crisis, the state must have access to its resources, specifically the 1002 area of Anwar. Walker couldn't exactly say they made progress, but indicated that he got a better feel for the Obama administration's intention. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today, mostly cloudy, isolated rain and snow showers in the morning, highs in the mid to upper 40s, and maybe some gusty winds. Tonight, mostly cloudy with lows in the lower 30s, and tomorrow, mostly cloudy, highs in the lower 40s, with wind possible again. Extended forecast, partly cloudy and 40 on Sunday, mostly cloudy in mid 30s Monday and Tuesday, and the aurora forecast is high. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. And remember, for more news, sports, or weather, download our free mobile app for Android and Apple devices. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching. Drive safely and don't forget about headlights. And we hope you enjoy your day.